Hey guys, so today as you can see in front of me, uh, the truck's going to get pretty spicy. I picked up the whole nitro set from Westgate Performance. Uh, my brother got me this for Christmas, so I'm pretty, uh, I was pretty st stoked about that. Then I got a nice bottle bracket. So now we're going to put all the solenoids and we're going to set this up a little more semi-permanent than how it was in in Delaware for the all truck challenge all right so she may look stuck but now we got some spicy air going through her uh, I didn't do this by myself I had a lot of help from Dylan he put the solenoid on for me we wired it all up nice and neat and now he's over here putting the uh, the button on so we ran that nice very very immaculate electrician over here Thing you can't even tell it looks just like factory how it should have been all right so now we got the bottle all secure uh we got the line nice and tight with some slack underneath so it stays nice and hidden all the bottle is all situated i couldn't have done it without dylan though so thank you for the help he wired up the whole truck uh we ran all the wiring underneath all nice and flush you can't even tell so thank you a lot for that, and uh, we'll see how this truck does on Saturday. Yeah, here's another look at um, all the wiring all set. So it looks pretty neat. I mean, you honestly can't even tell besides seeing the solenoid over here. And then we have our line right here running through our intake heater. So we're not going for anything too crazy. Just, uh, you know, a little bump and... You know not too crazy of a jet still want to make this thing somewhat manageable all right so now it's uh today's the day we're heading up to jt's diesel in mended mass we're gonna hit their dyno on their uh their open house dyno day i got everything all set up nicholas put his nitrous in so now i'll just uh Head there and give her help. So Jack, it looks like we're gonna be like in line. All right, it is raining a little bit, but that's not stopping us. Uh, there's plenty of room in the garage for us to hang out. Uh, there's plenty of trucks still waiting to go on the dyno. So we're just waiting for an order. And then uh, we'll be ready to rock. He's got a couple trucks going on. And then uh, we'll see how we do. I'm pumped. We just made a 900 horse tune uh, pull on there. Oh, and we're driving her home. So that was a pretty good hit. Did a couple good hits. Now it's uh, time to unload it. Yeah. Oh, All right, so she put down 
turned 16 uh, and she still lives. So I'm pretty pumped about that. We were hitting her with a, with a healthy shot of spray. Um, you know, engine temps are looking good. So looks like I'll, I'll have a good ride home. interesting to say the least. good day um, we had a good time at JT's diesel performance we had dyno day both of the trucks are making it back home under their own power so I'll count that as a win uh, we took second place overall for combined horsepower and torque so I'm pretty pumped about that especially being able to drive it home after that too 
So we put down a 917 for horsepower and 1488 for torque. Uh, I think first place was uh, a Cummins. I, I'm not sure what the exact number on that was, but yeah, it was overall a pretty good day. They gave me some uh, goodies to go home with, and now we'll make the trip back home. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And then lastly, I want to thank a couple of people that helped uh, put the truck together for this event. Uh, Dylan, he helped me a lot with the wiring and trying to set me up for to, to do pretty good. Um, yeah, he's he was a great friend. Derek Borden, I mean, a bunch of people. Nick helped a little bit. Um, yeah, so just where the truck uh, can hammer. So I'm having a lot of fun doing this, and this year is going to be a pretty good year for it. So just, just stay tuned because we got some big things planned.